All morning long, we've been talking to Derek French with the Palmer Drug Abuse Program in McAllen to further explain some of these effects and, of course, these new synthetic drugs. And good morning again, good morning. Derek. Thank you so much for sticking around with us. And just to recap for those viewers who are just tuning in this morning, what are synthetic drugs? Well, what, what we're dealing with here, synthetic drugs are basically man-made chemicals that are to produce or mimic some of the, uh, the drugs that are, are popular, such as marijuana or cocaine. You mentioned LSD and, and things like that. So they're, they mimic them and try and sell them um, over the counter, uh, legally, unfortunately, um, to a lot of young people. You said that the biggest part, the biggest fear here is that we don't know what's in, what chemicals are in there and there's so many new concoctions coming up every now and again with these kids or whoever making them up. You just don't know what the results will be. That's correct and, and I think, you know, what you guys are doing here this morning again, we're trying to just create awareness. I know um, parents a lot of times don't know what to look for, signs and symptoms of, of the the drugs that we've dealt with for years, such as pot and cocaine and stuff, but now you've got these new synthetic chemicals that you don't know what they're on um, and what some of the side effects or what the telltale signs are. And so we, we try and explain those things to parents and uh, it is, it's not an epidemic necessarily yet, the bat salts, but this, these, this incense, the synthetic marijuana or the kids call legal weed, uh, is becoming a huge, huge problem, and it's so easy to get. It's it's legal, and uh, that's the problem. <laughs> and that's their justification, unfortunately, is that they think it's okay because it's legal. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, when we start talking to them there at the facility, it's they don't see it as wrong a lot of times because it's legal. Right. You mentioned that there are Palmer's the not so much bath salts being a prevalent problem so far here in the valley but the synth uh, the weed that you're talking about the legal kind of weed mm -hmm. is a problem a lot of what kind of age uh, range are you looking at when it comes to that uh, it, it's as young as about 12 13 years old um, wow. a lot of these kids are using it and unfortunately they they'll use it even before school sometimes uh -huh. and uh, are able to go to school some some staff members may notice that they're under the influence and do like a behavioral check on them right. but they pass the drug test so they're able to stay in the schools while under the influence and so it's very scary you know because you don't know what may happen I, and we were talking earlier this is the same sort of like the Miley Cyrus situation where she was smoking that salvia which is a sort of derivative from marijuana and so they probably see kids like her that are on TV and think it's cool mm. maybe some awareness for parents at home watching this morning anything you want to tell them about just being involved well it's you know the biggest thing I can tell parents is, you know, you have the you have the talk, the birds and the bees and stuff like that. I always tell parents to incorporate <laughs> chemicals into that because a lot of times, again, here in the valley, so close to the border and, and so many chemicals available to them, legal or not legal, um, it, it needs to be addressed. It needs to be addressed. Perfect. Thank you so much for stopping by this morning, Derek. You have so much information that you've provided so far, and we really appreciate that because it's a big story that's been on the headlines, and we definitely want to make parents aware this morning. And the number's on your screen in case you guys are interested in some of the services offered there at Palmer's. Thank you so much, Derek. Thank you. And we'll see you guys in a little bit.